In this problem, we're going to prove that if we have an odd integer, then x squared is congruent to 1 modulo 4. So let's recall uh, what this means, this congruence. So a is congruent to b modulo n. So this means, well, it means that a minus b is divisible by n. Um, but I think it's easier to think of it like this. It means that a minus b is a multiple of n. It just seems more natural to think of multiples, which is the same thing. Which is the same thing as saying a minus b is equal to, say, k times n, where k is an integer. So, so a is congruent to b modulo n if a minus b is divisible by n, or another way of saying that is a minus b is a multiple of n, or another way of saying that is a minus b is equal to an integer times n. So let's go ahead and go through this proof. So proof. So we'll start by assuming uh, the part that's after the if. This is an if-then statement. So you assume the if, the if p, you assume p is true, and then you prove this piece here. This is your q. That's how these proofs work. So you assume this is true, and then you show this part's true. So we'll start by saying suppose x is odd. So suppose, suppose x is odd. So it's an odd integer. So this means, so this means that x is equal to, say, 2m plus 1 for some integer m, so some m in the set of integers. So now we have to show x squared is congruent to 1 modulo 4. So if we translate that using our definition, that would mean x squared minus 1 is a multiple of 4. So the natural thing to do is to look at x squared minus 1. So then x squared minus 1, well, what is this? This is equal to, well, x is 2m plus 1. So 2m plus 1 squared minus 1. And then we can multiply this out uh, as a shortcut here. You square the 2m, so you get 4m squared. You multiply these and double them, so uh, 2 times 2m is 4m. Then you square the 1. And you still have the minus 1. I just use the formula. Um, I'll do it out here outside of the proof. Remember, a plus b squared, you square the first one. You multiply the a and the b, and you double them, and then you square the last one. So I just applied that here to the 2m plus 1. Oh, this is cool. The 1s cancel. And look at this, we can pull out a 4. And we get m squared plus m, where, let's be really precise here, so x squared minus 1 is equal to 4 times m squared plus m, where m squared plus m is an integer. So that kind of takes the place of our n. You can see it right here, it's still on the screen. Of our k, rather. You see our k here. Our k is this m squared plus m. That's your k. So you have x squared minus 1 is equal to 4k, where k is an integer. So that means that x squared minus 1 is a multiple of 4. So this means that x squared is congruent to 1 modulo 4. Boom. And that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful.